Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw a pine tree using colored pencils. I'm going to be using Faber-Castell Polychromos colored pencils but you can use any other brand. Later near the end of the video I'm going to try to complete this scene and draw a little bit of background but for now I'm going to be focusing on this tree. Let's start. First I'm going to do a small sketch on this smaller piece of paper just to make a quick demonstration uh, on how I'm going to approach uh, drawing this pine tree. Of course there's going to be a trunk and uh, every type of tree has a slightly different shape and structure so the branches are going to be growing something like this and then uh, there's also going to be a canopy but because this is a coniferous tree we're going to have clusters of needles uh, that form around these larger branches and I erased a part here because some, of, some parts of the trunk won't be visible because it will be obscured by these clusters, larger clusters of needles so I'm erasing another part here because some of them will be covering or obscuring the trunk. So that's basically what the tree is going to look like and because we need to understand that this is a 3D object and you want, we want to add a little bit of volume and depth to it I'm going to need to have a range of value. So I, got, I want to show like some parts of this tree uh, are in front of the others. Uh, I want to create some depth uh, that's why I'm going to create these darker areas to make it look like they are deeper inside the canopy like they're facing away from the light source or maybe they're in the shadow and these lighter portions are in front of them so hopefully that will give uh, my tree more of a 3D look this is just a rough sketch just to give you a quick idea on what I'm going to be doing but now I'm going to be uh, moving on to the main thing, the main part of the video. Alright, uh, so I'm going to be drawing on a fairly small piece of paper. Uh, this is just a smaller sketch and I'm going to be using just a few of these colored pencils. Like I said, they're Faber-Castell Polychromos. I'm going to be using a black, an olive green, uh, a burnt ochre, a light green, a walnut brown and a little bit of Prussian blue. So those are all the pencils that I'm going to be using for now. Later near the end of the video I'm going to use one more pencil but I'm going to talk about that a little bit later. I'm going to start with this ochre and I'm going to start sketching the tree trunk Um, so I just want, I just have to decide uh, about the size of the tree and where I'm going to place it and as you can see I am uh, drawing a discontinued line because like I said I want a part of this trunk to be obscured by branches and clusters of needles. Of course I can also erase uh, some of these some of these parts of a tree trunk but the easier thing to do is to leave some of these spaces in between. And of course uh, I'm going to be using some other browns uh, and other colors for the tree trunk but for now I'm just using this lighter color for the sketching and for my base color. You don't have to use these colors by the way you can use slightly different colors but those are the ones that I picked and I think they're gonna work fine. So now I'm drawing the branches and like I said I'm trying to imitate the structure of a coniferous tree 
uh, one of the good things about drawing trees is that you don't really have to worry that much about likeness um, like when you're drawing a portrait of a person even though obviously uh, I do have to try to make it look like the type of the tree that I'm trying to draw. For blending here and there I'm going to be using some blending tools like tortillons and q-tips but uh, it's mostly going to be colored pencil work. Now as you can see I picked up a light green which is a very uh, bright and light color but it'll do for now. I'm going to be adding some more uh, colors on top of that and I'm starting to draw uh, draw the canopy and like I said with coniferous trees the canopy is a little bit different and it doesn't consist of leaves it has these clusters of needles and because these are very small and because uh, we are drawing a tree as seen from a distance obviously uh, I can't draw every single needle I can just try to imitate uh, the shape or the shapes that we see from a distance so that's what I'm going to be trying to do now as you can see first I'm putting down this lighter color uh, because normally when you're working with colored pencils you have to work from light to dark that's just the way it is it's the nature of the medium there is very little you can do in terms of uh, layering or erasing those are some of the disadvantages of these uh, types of pencils but they do have some advantages of their own and uh, they can be used to create some nice looking sketches right now I'm using a darker green this is an olive green a yellowish olive green and I'm, and I'm going on top of the on top of these areas which I covered with a light green I'm not going to cover all of it I'm just scribbling on top of it a little bit trying to create a little bit of variation and texture but not all of it is entirely random uh, because I want to make it look like some parts of these uh, clusters are a little bit lighter than others like we have a little bit of variation in them uh, where maybe some of these needles are getting more light and others are getting less. And now I'm starting to do, uh, do what i shown you in that uh, sketch at the beginning of the video. I'm starting to add some of these darker areas. And here I also used a darker brown to shade a little bit more of the trunk. But I'm using this darker olive green, which is a very dark green by the way, uh, to draw in some of these darker areas in between these lighter clusters so I want to make it look like these are in the shadow and like these lighter clusters are in front of them and another thing that I'm going to achieve with these areas of darker value is they're, they're going to allow me to have more contrast so that these branches uh, which are growing to the side will show up nicely against the darker background so I'm going to keep using a combination of these two colors for now but I'm also going to be adding in a little bit of black uh, for some of the darkest areas and also to create a more interesting texture that'll hopefully look like a coniferous tree so at the same time I don't really know how much you can see this but I'm kinda of trying to imitate the shape of those clusters of needles uh, as much as possible like I said it's impossible to draw uh, every single detail 
and it's not really necessary anyway. So you can see now how uh, these uh, branches on the side are starting to stand out nicely uh, because of the contrast uh, with these darker greens and the blacks that I'm using. Here I can also use a little bit of this Prussian blue or some other blue if I want the colors to be a little bit cooler and as for the light source, the light is naturally coming from above but in this case it's also coming from the right so the left side is going to be a little bit darker than the right one but that's mostly going to be seen in the tree trunk and the and the shadow but as for these uh, segments or clusters of needles uh, they're mostly uh, the ones that are closer to us and are go mostly going to be lighter and the light is mostly going to be coming from above so you can see how I'm using my black colored pencil to refine the shape of those branches growing on the sides of the tree trunk and adding some shadows some darker areas really dark areas in between and under these segments and now I'm using that olive green to further refine the shape of the canopy so I'm just going to continue doing the same thing that I'm doing uh, along the, the whole length of the tree trunk using this combination of colors and later I'm going to be adding some more details on the tree trunk and some other stuff. So I've already done a tutorial on how you can draw trees in colored pencil and that's one of my most popular videos some people complain that they only only want to hear the narration they don't want to hear the music so here's a video without any music also I try to zoom in as much as possible without actually making the footage too blurry don't complain about the quality of the footage this is really the best I can do I'm sorry and also uh, if you want to see more of the real-time footage as you can see some of this is in real time some of it is in time-lapse but if you want to see all of it in real time you can always go to my patreon I have plenty of real-time videos there so for a small fee you will get uh, lots and lots of additional content as well as a uh, sneak peek into my uh, current projects or future projects and some other stuff why did I pick this subject well um, I had a couple of larger commissions which were kind of exhausting and I just find that this type of sketch is a uh, is a lot more relaxing and besides people like when I draw trees and I haven't done one in colored pencil in quite a while so I thought to myself why not so I'm doing the best I can to uh, capture the randomness of uh, the shape of these branches and clusters of needles so that my tree would look as organic as possible and these tiny details that I'm adding on top using a black colored pencil are I think very important because they really add a lot to the feeling of depth and also to the texture they just make these green areas a lot more interesting now I do understand that some people would recommend 
probably different pencils but like I said I picked these and uh, they seem to work for me so here we have a segment that's obscuring the tree trunk it's very important to have these segments uh, which are kind of in front of the tree trunk which are in front of the rest of the branches that gives us a feeling of depth like some parts of the tree are in front of the others and like some of these branches are overlapping and obscuring the others this is very important if you want to have a realistic looking tree and not something that looks basically like a 2D drawing a simplified drawing like something that a child would draw so we're going for a, some, something slightly more realistic so I can go back and forth uh, with my pencils sometimes I add a lighter pencil on top of the darker ones just to uh, blend everything in uh, where I feel uh, that I want the canopy to appear fuller and more dense and so far so good so I have just a few more of these segments but even the ones that I've done so far I'm still going to be adding some more details to them So I'm also adding a few touches of other colors to the tree trunk and maybe some suggestions of shadows here and there. And occasionally you can see me using this Prussian blue on top of the green, the greens that I put down where I want to create slightly cooler colors. I <coughs> also have to make sure to keep my pencil sharp. And Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils are pretty easy to sharp uh, to sharpen. Um, so these are good quality pencils. There are some things I don't like about them, but for this type of drawing, uh, they are doing a very good job. The camera seems to have refocused a little bit here, so the footage is pretty good. This is as good as it will get. So you can see how I'm adding these tiny details. Just to make these shapes a little more convincing. So they look more like a coniferous tree. And that's also another reason why I needed a sharper pencil. And you can also see how nicely the tree trunk and the branches stand out against these darker areas. A quick way to do, to learn how to draw trees, by the way, is to see how uh, how artists, how comic book artists draw them, because 
they have a way of drawing simplified but at the same time very rea realistic versions of trees but the best way of course would be to look at the trees in real life and try to understand their shape and structure and that's not always possible with, because we don't always have time for that so sometimes you just have to use reference photos pick the ones that you like, pick the shapes that you like and then just try to create something similar or something different depends on what you feel like trying just a few more of these segments near the bottom of the tree and I also added a little bit of grass and ground under the tree and I'm doing a small shadow here and the tree is almost done so I just went over some of these green areas with uh, Prussian blue again and then again with some of the pencils that I already used just to add some more details and maybe refine the appearance of some of the branches and that's it it's pretty much done also did a little bit more shading on the tree trunk and I felt like I wanted to add just a little bit more of this ochre on the tree trunk just to I just wanted a slightly warmer color just to make it a little more interesting so that's it and as I promised I'm probably going to be turning this into a full scene but for now I'm just going to remove this tape and show you what the what the drawing looks like if I can zoom in a little bit So here it is, and now I'm going to be moving on to the to working on the background. I first used a little bit of that Prussian blue on the sky, just to create a nice gradient, and I blended that with a Q-tip, which is possible if you don't press too hard. I'm going to do something similar with the bottom part of my drawing using a light green for the grass and I'm going to add a little more variation in there as well by adding some of the darker greens and extending that shadow and maybe uh, adding some more variation to the terrain and now in the background I'm going to start drawing some trees using the Prussian blue I want these trees to be more bluish and less defined because that's what happens to the objects in the background because of the atmospheric effect they tend to become a little less defined until they finally disappear into the distance but in general with these objects in the background you're gonna see uh, you're gonna see less contrast fewer details 
and some blurrier, less defined edges. So I, here I wanted to make it look like one of these trees in the distance is slightly in front of the other so we can almost make out the tree trunk and some of the shapes of the canopy and the shadow under it uh, because I want some more depth in the background as well. But for the others I'm just gonna make it as simple as possible. So I'm covering this, the area on the right side as well. And now, because I feel like I have too much texture in the background, in those trees in the background, I'm going to want to soften everything and blend everything. And to do that, I can't use my regular blending tools. But instead, I'm going to use a white colored pencil. A uh, white colored pencil is a great blending tool but you have to understand that it will make everything just a little bit lighter and muddier if that makes sense but the good effect that it will create here is that the object in the foreground will be a little bit more detail, uh, detailed with uh, a little, little bit more texture while the background will be softer and blurrier and speaking of blurry, my footage is a little bit blurry, but eventually it will refocus. So like I said, uh, sorry once again, but some parts are obviously better than the others. Most of the time I think you can see what I'm doing, and as you can see I uh, am removing the tape now and just polishing those corners to finish my scene and this is what it looks like I'm just gonna add a few touches here maybe some suggestions of tree trunks in the distance and that's it I hope you like this little scene I created around my pine tree thank you for watching this video and don't forget to check out my other videos and subscribe bye